Alright, this is the Shelby County Digital Media. We're here talking to our teacher of the year, Miss Venable. Let's find out more about her. How's your day been today? Good. Uh, Miss Venable, it's been pretty hectic today, isn't it? Yes, um, it's been a, a very busy week, but it's been good. That's pretty good to hear. Miss Venable, how long have you been teaching for? This is my 17th year in education. And have you always been a librarian? No, I have not. And what made you decide to become a librarian? Well, I decided to um, work on another master's degree when I was out with my children. I was staying at home, being mom, and I decided to work on another uh, master's degree. So um, I chose library media uh, just because I love the program and I thought it would be a great um, fit for me. Um, and it has been. I, I really enjoyed it. So it's been good. I can see that. You've been an awesome librarian for this past year. And what was your reaction when you found out you were the teacher of the year? Well, I was very shocked, um, very overwhelmed, um, very humbled by uh, being chosen as the teacher of the year because I have so many people that I work with, like Ms. Kirkendall, and different people who uh, do such a fabulous job here at school. Um, I'm just so thankful to be a part of a great program, a great uh, school that um, provides a lot of opportunities for our students to do well and excel every day. Um, Anyway, I just I'm I was very overwhelmed, very shocked. Um, I feel like I need to do over. But anyway, keep going. <laughs> um, what are your hobbies when you're not being an awesome librarian? Well, um, I enjoy watching sporting events, uh, either attending them or watching on television. I do like to watch a lot of sports. Um, I do enjoy watching my children do things that they enjoy, um, and then I also enjoy. We have a, a I guess you'd say a small farm that we enjoy spending some time, or I do. I enjoy spending time there uh, just because it's so quiet and away from everything, and um, it's very peaceful. So, Very peaceful life, I would say. Mm -hmm. And as being a librarian, you must have a favorite book. Yes. Um, one of the, I guess one of my favorite books would be Redeeming Love just because of when I read it, I guess there were so many times that I wanted to put the book down. I guess it was the emotions that I went through when I read the book, and it was just uh, it had a great impact on my life. And um, I, I just really feel attached to that book. Just when I, I like the book better though than I like the movie. So. Yeah. And what has been your favorite teaching moment throughout the years? I do not know of a particular one favorite moment. Um, I enjoy helping people. Uh, I, I do enjoy trying to help, whether it's fixing technology, finding a book. Um, so I don't really have a favorite. There are favorite things I like to do, I guess, uh, about the job, but not a particular teaching moment, I guess. And do you have any pets? I do. I have one chocolate lab. She is uh, seven years old. Her name is Bailey. Is he pretty energetic? Well, yes. Um, she used to be a lot more of a handful than she is now. Um, she has, I guess, started to calm down and be a better, um, I guess, just lazy, a <laughs> yeah. lazy dog that would just, um, I guess, sleep a lot more. So, um, yes, yeah, she's she's great. Um, I wish I had her life. <laughs> anyway. I bet we all do, honestly. <laughs> and do you like to cook? I do. Um, I do prefer, though, when my husband chooses to grill or something mm -hmm. in exchange of my cooking, but um, just because I like to have a variety of something different. But I guess my favorite meal would be grilling with maybe baked potatoes or, or salad, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And then what is your biggest breakthrough as a librarian and teacher? Well, I wouldn't say this would be like a breakthrough, but Maybe the most challenging time as a librarian or educator, I guess, came with COVID. And when we all had to learn from home and had to issue students Chromebooks, um, that was probably the most challenging time uh, just because we had to immediately create an organization system for issuing Chromebooks. And then we had to troubleshoot um, technology issues once they were in the hands of the students. 
uh, and we were not face to face, so we had to do it through email or phone conversations, um, trying to troubleshoot something when I could not see their screen. Um, all of those were huge challenges that we had to try to work through. And we did, but it was just a very challenging time for, for everyone, but that was especially hard. I bet it was. It was with all the students and parents emailing you. I bet it was very troublesome for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And what are your plans for when you're done teaching? Well, I would like to think that I could do some more traveling. Um, hopefully some have some more time, I guess, to relax. Um, I don't have any special time or any special plans just because I feel like that that's so far away. Um, I don't have any thoughts or goals yet of what I want to do at that time. I think it's maybe like eight more years before I can think about it. So Yeah. And I would like to thank you so much for your time with us today, Ms. Venable, and this has been the Shelby County Media Center, signing out.